The reigning king, John Blaze, was too busy doing other things in order to qualify for a better position, so he has to run the ladder. Will he be able to do it, or will it cost him? There's only one way to find out. Welcome everyone to the off-season King of the Palace. I'm here with the returning champ, Johnny Blaze. Woo -hoo. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and his opponent, Matt Nichols. <coughs> Johnny, yeah. he's got a whole new field of opponents to face, man. And these guys, they threw some big numbers up. You get your work cut out for you. And first up is Matty. Yep, I was watching. Everybody was bowling well. High cut. It's gonna be some good bowling today. Nice. Maddie, what do you think of the champ? He's a good bowler, I know. I always watch him bowling. Candlepin, he bowls duckpin too. He's very good both, so it'll be a fun challenge. What's your strategy? Well, I mean, Steve and Sullivan got it down, so throw the ball and let the pins fall. <laughs> Same thing, throw the ball and let the pins fall. All right, well, let's throw the balls and watch the pins fall. I don't give a <laughs> well. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the off-season King of the Palace, sponsored by... Watch Me Suck at Bowling and produced by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Up first, the returning champ, Johnny Blaze on Alley 3. I went to Canby a couple weeks ago. I took a picture of the squirrel sighting. Nice, I saw that. That was very cool. And then, welcome back, Dennis Nuzzle. Everybody's coming back for. Yeah, it's a warm up for next season. Ooh. Right through it. Johnny's been bowling for 15 years. His average is a 113. His high single is a 186. His high trip is a 421. He bowls out of bogey lanes and lucky strike lanes. And he also enjoys spending time with family and friends. Johnny on Alley 4. Not bad for the ocean. Remember how to do this? It's coming back to me. The high tech monitors. I see that. You upgraded. Nothing but the best. Oh! Ooh. A little bit of roadblock there. Give a quick shout out to Steve. Get well soon, brother. Yep, Steve Bronchuk is doing pretty well. I saw him the other day. His spirits are up. He can't wait to get back. So, giving everybody, um, he wished everybody the best. And we're looking forward to seeing him soon. Up now, the number four is seed, Mr. Matt Nichols, nicknamed Matty Ice. He's been bowling for 14 years. His average is a 109. His high single is a 171. His high trip is a 430. His home alleys are, seem to be a thing. His home alleys are Timber Lanes in Abington, Mass, and also Union Street Lanes in Holbrook, Mass. A couple tough houses there. The way he was throwing the ball in practice, I was right next to him. He was throwing some bombs. Yes, he was. Surprises on the fourth seed. Mm, missed the head pin. That was an awesome insight. Amber chiming in. And he missed the head pin again. It's okay, Amber. Did you just cut my head? Um, no. Yeah, Steve wants to come back so he doesn't lose his spot to Sean Sears or the squirrel. <laughs> just kidding, Sean. Not about squirrel, though. Everybody did their part, you know? Summertime off-season king of the palace. Keeping everybody on their toes and loosened up. Yeah, I couldn't be here for the first one because I was on a cruise at the time. Oh. And I don't remember why it wasn't here last month. You get to work. 
No, I've been having work since March. Oh. I don't remember. I wasn't here, obviously. <laughs> After two, Matt's at 20, Johnny Blaze at 19. Knowing these two, I'm sure we'll be seeing some marks soon. Oh, absolutely. I said Matt, Matt in practice, uh, qualify, which is crushing that head pin. Yep. Johnny Blaze on alley three, off to the left. Carried an extra. Leaves the high-low jack of the joker. I'll say it again, I've been saying it for two months now. It's different without Steve hanging around. <laughs> Ooh. That was an interesting way to make that. Hmm. 10 bucks puts him at 29. John, Johnny couldn't come back to do the, uh, the ladder series. So, the ladder portion of it. So he sits back and he does. Oh, how does, how that, does that happen? Starts at the fifth seat. There you go, Stevie. Chandler, even Steve Bronchuk. I stopped so you could say it. You didn't even say it. I, well, you two just like screamed it immediately. I, I got scared. It's supposed eagle to be a course. I jumped. Yeah. Just like the last time. What do you call that? A spread eagle with a talon? I guess. I think so. What's up, Mr. Bobby Brown? Oh, nice God. shot. Up. That was pretty. He found the nut. He did. Johnny's only left one pin standing so far. He's 39 after four. Three tens and a nine box. Matt on alley three. <coughs> Matt Bowles in the Tuesday night men's league in Holbrook and the Tuesday night summer league in Timberland. Punch of the New Palace. His favorite shot is the Four Horsemen. His least favorite shot is the Spread Eagle. I can understand that. Pretty when it goes. Ugly when it stays. Wow. That was different. Yeah. It's 10 bucks. Still only one pin separating the bowls. Still no marks. Yeah, good pinning match though. You're watching the final series of King of the Palace off season, especially done for watch me suck at bowling. I can't believe I threw a 6:30 and even get a sniff. Like making the show. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. A lot, a lot of big scores out there today. That title is always still available. Yeah, it's going to evade me till the day I die, I know. But congratulations so. on your four bagger you had a couple weeks ago. Thank you. That was pretty impressive. Two are legit, two are um, All gifts. the same on paper. That's right. The fourth one was actually uh, on Facebook. One of my teammates video recorded it. First time I ever did it. No feeling like it, I can, I can tell you that. <laughs> but after four, both bowls are at 39. Match is even. There we go, that's the first mark. The squirrel draws first blood. John Bulls on the Summer Adult and Youth League at Bogey Lanes. Um, his favorite show. He's the youth. Oh. Looks like he's having trouble with his footing right there. He puts two on the mark. His favorite shot is nothing standing. His least favorite shot is a 7 10 split. Oh. Almost pulled it off. Nice try. Nice offer. It was okay. <laughs> nice 10 box. Such a weirdo. Could have had some comedy for this thing. Come on. I agree. It's nice having you back because, you know, 
That doesn't mean you two get to pick on me. <laughs> oh, it does. I mean, I would never. I don't think anything can top the <laughs> top the match when Sears was playing. I wasn't here. <laughs> tons and tons of uh, bankruptcy jokes. Yes, there were. <laughs> Matt Nichols is looking at the three and one right here. Oh, and that yeah, was not. Matches the mark put up by Johnny Blaze. You know what? I don't want to call him Scroll anymore. I'm sick of that. I want Ghost Rider back. I like Ghost Rider. I prefer Probably Ghost Rider. I've always liked Ghost Rider. Right down the middle of the plate. Don't let this one get away. He's a 410. Oh. Assume he's gonna go for the ten pin on this one for a nine box. You thief. <laughs> wow. See, too much wood can hurt you as much as help you. After six, Matt's at sixty-five. John is at sixty-one. Four pin difference. There seems to be a drag race outside. John, I don't like it. Johnny leaves at 2-7. I'm sure our YouTuber friends have heard that. Oh, oh he'll go. There's 10. Oh, is easier on the third ball. That's for sure. Or as I call it, I wish it was ball two moment. Ha! Ooh, right through the heart. See, I sat back and was going to give you that one, but the other pinch fell. Yeah, I know, yeah, it fell down. Fall down, go boom. Oh, that was a great bit on that. Another 10 box. That puts John at 81 after eight. He's only left one pin standing so far. But he didn't have a great fill in his one spare that he has. So. See how Matt answers. He left the, door, left the door wide open for him. Add to his lead. El Stinko visited him once. Matt on out of three. Oh. Could be. Oh, is he going to backdoor it? No. Nope. Nope. Oh, I missed it. No dominoes. F-O-G. So right, right by it. Oh, wait, ball's coming back. Hold on. She's just going to stay there and mock him and stay behind it. He's laughing at him. Let me look at the monitor here. Oh, oh, oh. Sullivan sighting. Sponsored by Sunkist. Oh, knock that crap off. <laughs> Dean lost his, his sleeves in a polka bet. Anything goes on the King of the Palace off season. Let's just say that. Dogs and cats living together. <laughs> And nine bucks. Always had it, didn't you? Oh, so and you bowling odds. Tell them what they think of them. So John gained one on that. So champ's only down three box to box, but he's up. He's got an open box here, and see if Mac can capitalize. Every pin counts. That, that's for sure. Oh, right down the middle of the plate. Wow. Leaves the 810 with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Uh, and double wood, too. I would probably play like right at the head pin. Get something snapping off the wall. With that double piece of wood. That's where he's going. Oh! 
Yeah, it's the right idea. Just didn't work out. There's 10 box. After eight, Matt Nichols at 84, John Blaze at 81. Three pin lead for the challenger going into the last two boxes of the string. Here's oh, a hammer. He It's about time Johnny Blaze woke up. I mean, good ball by Johnny Blaze. <laughs> no, I agree with the first statement. <laughs> well, he's been throwing a good ball. I mean, he's like I said, he's only left one pin. Both of them have. So. They're both pinning really yeah. well. Could be a double. Nope. Close. Nice ball. Look good going down. Dave, I'm challenging our. YouTube sub subscribers to get it reach a thousand this season before before season's end. What do you think? Oh, I don't know where we at now. In the spare. I believe we're around 850. I'll check it. Really pay yes, for those of you watching on this channel, you like what you see, go to youtubecom slash lanes. Watch the real thing. Subscribe if you like it. And let us know where you're watching it and who you're watching it with. 116 strength for Johnny Blaze. I should get a map and, and go through all everything on YouTube and, and map of the world. And That's what I said. We should it. stop marking where everyone is watching from. Be surprised. It's just a matter of where you where to find the spot to put it. I was I was close. I hit 856. We're at right now. Ah. So I'm challenging our viewers. I know George has over 12,000 viewers. I'd like to get up there. That'd be awesome. As Matt throws a strike. However, yeah. more people in the bowling community are watching the actual king in the palace. You know, it's funny, the first bear throne was Johnny Blaze. Matt answered it, same box. First strike, Johnny Blaze. Matt answered it, same box. We'll see if he matches the spare in this one. Oh no, I think, oh, it looked like he was gonna one up and throw the hammer. I thought I was gonna strike it up. So Johnny Blaze had left one pin stand in the whole string. That's all. Unbelievable bowling. So they're just going back and forth with each other. Everything John throws, Matt's matching. That's a great match right there. Let's see what his fill does. Four. For 118 string. Ooh, gains one. Blaze. So after one, the challenger Matt Nichols at 118, the champ John Blaze at 116. Two pin difference going into the second string. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Matt starts it off. A couple of wobblers. Could be a strike coming. Could be. Oh, that close. Just missed a head pin. Playing dominoes. The FOG remains. All over the spare. But he tells the bowling gods what he thinks of them. Spare is straight, they both tend to tell you fill them. That's right. Good analysis. Come on, I'm picking on you a little. I'm not being bad. Those are mean. Fill ball. Nice head pin hit. He's two of them. He's a 3-6 piece of wood rest against the, excuse me, a 3-6 piece of wood against the three. Check your monitor. I'm sorry. You're right. Nice shot. That was hotter than it looked to try to get by that dead wood. I spared no expense. I gave them a dual monitor. I see that. We're upgrading. Although it seems to be suffering the same issue as the single one. <laughs> nice head pin hit. Leaves what matches left to see if we can copy him. Wow. His wood is actually a little talk, better. Talk about copying. I know, right? Back and forth, back and forth. Same leaves and everything. Looks good. Matches the spit he threw. <laughs> what a match. Oh wow, caught a break on that. That was looking ugly for a minute. Well, the good news is he threw eight on, for a fill to match, match eight. 
Bad news is he's leaving the seven eight. A couple pieces of wood that are just. Uh, I don't know how well they're gonna help though. I'd probably go right tip of that front flat wood. Yeah. Try to get something off the wall and hit that pin that's laying dead in the back of it. But we'll see. There he's playing it that way. Ooh, and there it goes. There it goes. Did not look like that was going to oh. happen. That's the way I would have played it, but not the way I would have wanted it to go. But it's a spin nonetheless. Neither one of these guys are giving an inch to the other. No. Matching in the same exact boxes, the same exact marks. That one got away from the sleeves four. Phil. And if the squirrel survives, he's got to try and do it three more times. See if he can run the ladder again. Oh, nice ball. Oh. Wow. Kingpin is still there. Let's see if he can dethrone him. Yeah. I want, Woody. Thank, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to watch me suck at bowling for the off-season King of the Palace. And a special thank you to George for doing all the hard work that he does. And his 60 frames a minute. 60 frames per second. Per second. Nah, see, I'm not a techie guy. <laughs> Just slab, slip by the head pin. But I will say this, it is spectacular work. Looks good. Oh, he caught another one. He's the 110 with a whole with uh, some junk on the lumber deck. yard down there. Picks nice up. pickup. Took them a while to get going, but now once they did. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Oops, sorry. Leaves the Mongo. Oh, just missed it. How did he do that? Wow. I was wondering where that went. <laughs> nice pinning up there. Box to box, they're even 45 each after three, so it's still just two pins and that that's the what champ the is down. Figured in. That's unbelievable. That's with the handicap. It's going to be close the whole way down. Yeah, I love it. Oh, there boom. So they're still matching each other mark for mark, except this time Johnny threw a strike at, to match spare. So again, it's even after, after four, 55 each, both working on marks. Two pin difference overall. When the squirrel finds a nut, Matt finds one. That's just good bowling, matching each other like that. That's awesome. It's what you like to see. Good competitive bowling. Good seven, Bill. If you want to see some really close action, look for Watch Me Suck at Bowling Triple Challenge. Uh -huh. well, you, you can put the camera on me during qualifying. Oh, oh just almost missed. stole it. That would have been just as bad. Where you can see me go up against people significantly better and get my. Yeah, pretty much get my ass handed to me. <laughs> you can swear? Oh, you can delete it out. It's, it's, P, you know, PG's the limit according to YouTube. Oh, okay. All right, PG. But then again, all the stars, they, they, they go all rated X and Ooh. as they make money, they don't care. Punches the half Worcester, <laughs> AKA the new palace. <laughs> All right. For so those of you on this channel, Dennis Nuzzo calls the Half Worcester the New Palace. For those of you that watch my show, the New Palace is anything. Oh, oh, the first geez. ball taking everything except for one pin in the back. Good to know. I still like that. That uh, is it the frozen turkey dinner? <laughs> the microwave turkey dinner. The microwave turkey. Dinner. Tough box of Matt. Just like a six that. box. Yeah, for those That's of you one of my king, favorite sayings. For those of you in the King of the Palace that don't know is, you know that the frozen microwave turkey dinners are subpar to the actual thing, so. <laughs> Three tens, microwave turkey dinner. That six might have given Blaze the room he needs. Yeah, open the door right up for him. 
when Johnny's not bowling, he's a material handler. He also wants to say that his grampy is the man, and he's watching him today, live. Well, filled six with his first ball. I, I'd go just make sure you get three for the second ball and get a nine. Ah! Yeah, nothing fancy, just make sure you fill it right. And that evens the matchup. Mm. Match is dead what, even. I know which score cards I'm using when I'm putting the really video together. <laughs> I actually read this one. <laughs> All he's going to do is get higher than a six and he'll uh, yep. take back the lead. Box to box, it matches dead even. Five boxes to go. But John's up against a six box, so he can easily get, get some good lead right oh, here. Good job, Blaze. It happens. How many cookies does that make? A couple dozen? Since you can't see it, they have some chocolate chip cookies in a container and people are eating them like they're drugs pretty much. They're fantastic cookies. Yes, they are. I, I haven't had this batch, but I've had previous ones and they are very good. Good friend of the king, king of the palace and uh, watch the second bone. And Mary Ann Murphy makes them for us all the time. She comes down, tries out. She made the show once. Yep. Real good bowl. Oh, what a shot. Just, let's just say it's, it's cookie crack. <laughs> so after six, Matt Nichols at 77, Johnny Blaze at 83, working on a spare. Just don't, just don't bring him up the hill. Might be considered competition. Oh, oh, that was nice. He almost off the diamond. Just a two pin. And we'll shoot the back door. Got a nice little guide right in there. All over. There he goes. When Matt's not bowling, he's a student at Wentworth Institute of Technology. He also enjoys duck pin bowling. And, um, George, what does that say? Oh, he enjoys. 10 pin bowling. Throws a seven fill on his spare. What's that, Amber? What? That's a naughty word. Naughty. Baloney, baloney, 10 pin bowling? There you go. <laughs> it's naughty. I didn't say it. I think that's the first time I've ever actually said it. You blame me oh. a lot, but I think that's the first you time know, I will I've say actually this. said it. Okay, speaking of uh, of, of Steve Broncha, when I, when I was with him the other day, he actually said, you know, he says, since we can't say phony baloney, 10 pin bowling anymore, Maybe we should just call it a, the swear word. Just a swear word. It's not a bad idea. What do you think, Denny? I ain't getting involved in that conversation. <laughs> no, it's just a swear word. Huh? Just a swear word. A swear word? Just a swear word. Almost oh, stole it. Oh, okay. Just call it swear word. Yeah. Not a swear word. No, just swear word. I'm okay with that. That's a bad word. There he goes. Oh, look at this. Johnny Blaze. Here comes Johnny Blaze. As after I like to say, you, he's stepping on his neck, after won't let him you, up. After you see this season, uh, uh, this month's King of the Palace Summer Edition, Watch Me Suck at Bowling will return. It will return with the opening of the third season and Dave's very favorite discipline. The one with heavier balls and fat pins. Swear um, word. Uh, uh, okay. Nice shot. Nice. Three in a row. Isn't I think Johnny's that... just starting to warm up. But wait, he got three marks in a row. After eight, Matt Nichols at 103, Johnny Blaze at 120, working on a spare. George, three marks in a row with what? Uh, three spares in a row? Yeah. That's an obscure bowling term that I found online. It's also referred to as a chicken. He's calling you a chicken. I heard him. No, I However, in candle pins, and I heard squirrel tastes like chicken. Oh, so you better watch your mask lately, huh? Wow, Matt just got tucked on that one. So I take you, Ben, to Winch, you did. Winch, Kentucky. Winch, Kentucky, Mass of Kansas. Actually, I live next to it. Mass of Kansas, that's a pretty good one. They have a tough 10 pin alley there. Play away lanes. Matt definitely needs a strike right here just to even have a chance at winning. Oddly enough, it's the toughest house I've been in, and that's where I got my highest 10 pin score. 
which really isn't saying a lot, though. Oh, almost. Nope. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so Johnny Blaze will advance. The squirrel lives to see another day. Although you know the uh, the worst kept secret in Hollywood, they're all shot at once. <laughs> what did we get up? Finishing up on Alley 3, Mr. Johnny Blaze, the returning champ, is all academic now. When he all he needs is two pins. There it is. And he got that's him. more than two. Okay. Matt Nichols. Twenty-four. Mm. <coughs> Johnny Blaze next week will be facing <coughs> Brian Robinson, who is no stranger to the King of the Palace. Ooh. What's rolling? Oh, short pin. Talk to the owner. He don't care. Right now, he's matched my highest single ever. What, 139? In fact, the squirrel, to some degree, actually saw me get it. Oh, oh look at that. Heck of a way to end Gips it. Two pin. Welcome to Mason's. Way to kill the string. I mean... You said you needed two <laughs> pins, not to get the two pin. Just slipped out a hip in, but not, not bad. He's already won the match. So it's all academic. It's all academic. It's all finishing off. It's gravy. Money in the bank. And goalposts. So after two, Matt Nichols with a 119 for a two string total of 237. Very consistent bowling. And Johnny Blaze with a 147, two string total of 263. Great bowling by Johnny Blaze once he got once he started going. Yeah, I took them both to the fifth box of the first train to get going, and then it was just lights out. All right, well, thank you very much for tuning in to watch me suck at bowling. Let's go meet the champ. Congratulations on defeating Matt Nichols. Um, it took you a little while to get going, but once you decided going, you do the ball and the pins fell. Yes, we did. I got some breaks, definitely, I'll, I'll say that. Taking advantage of the breaks is the other half of the battle. Can't can't just shake it off and get a throw good ball the next ball. And that might have been the difference in the match, uh, although he got a lot of splits towards the end, I thought, or it felt like he got some bad breaks. So. Yeah, like, like in the first match, I mean, you throw a mark, if you throw a mark, so it was kind of tight. At one point in time, you guys were dead even. Yes. And then you guys, you just pulled ahead a little bit, and then you didn't look back. Taking advantage of those breaks, putting a good ball. Even if you throw a low fill, come back psychologically and throw another good ball. Excellent. Next week, another, new, another well, not a newcomer, but yeah, he did. It's the Brian Robinson, super good match, man. He was oh. throwing some good balls. Yeah, his finger's not bleeding right now either, so that makes me warm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you guys all next week on King of the Palace off season. See you then. It was a very tough fight. Matching each other looked like the king was faltering ever so slightly, but not by much then took everything over and put Matt Nichols to rest. Next week, the squirrel takes on Brian Robinson. Will he still be able to climb the ladder? Or did he make a mistake by not qualifying for a better position? There's only one way to find out, and that's to watch next week's edition of King of the Palace Summer Edition. The following was a Kingpin production. Produced by Georgia 551's World of Crap. All scores displayed on screen came from official scorecards.